Well, good day, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Well, so I've been thinking about typing posture, typing position, and I go all the way back to the early 1970s when I took a typing class in high school. And of course, the teacher had us very strictly get the right typing posture. We kind of forget about that a lot of times in the intervening years until the era of the computer and all of a sudden ergonomics becomes an issue. And if you're familiar with the corporate world, you know that ergonomics is a big issue with computer workstations because uh, injuries uh, related to bad ergonomic positions can cost companies a lot of money and a lot of missing employee hours. So that's become more important lately. But also working with typewriters, especially portable typewriters where you like to carry them around to different places, you might find yourself typing in positions that are a little bit less than optimal. And I'd like to talk about that today. Stay tuned. So a good typing posture at a desk is so that your forearms are supported on the armrests, but your wrists aren't planted on the desk. Your wrists should uh, be straight, not curved this way or that way, and you should be able to reach your keyboard easily. Let me move my Calibri out of the way, and we will get to my little mechanical keyboard here that I use with my Mac. Yeah, you want to be able to support your arms flat and level at, right at the keyboard. You want to have the keyboard moved as close as you as possible so you're, you're in the primary reach zone. And you don't want to have your elbows sticking out. You kind of want to have your elbows at your side, which means you needed a chair that may have adjustable armrests that go in and out. This one actually doesn't. Anyway, so this is kind of a good posture for ergonomic typing. Wrists straight, forearms supported, wrists not planted, and wrists not bent and you're in kind of a neutral position for comfort. Now here's a bad habit that a lot of computer typists tend to use is they tend to have the keyboard or the laptop uh, not in the primary reach zone and they're kind of supporting all their weight like on their elbows and wrists and they're stretched out on the table and because of the short keystroke of a lot of laptop keyboards, they don't have to move their fingers very much, so it feels like it's an ergonomic position. The problem with that, however, is if you try to use that same posture with a typewriter. And recently, I had a typewriter over at a friend of mine's house, and he uh, is used to doing that long stretched out laptop kind of posture and what he did when he tried my manual typewriter is he kind of did the same thing he pushed the typewriter away from the front edge of the desk and kind of had his wrists planted and arched up like this see that's not a good position and very soon less than 30 seconds after he began trying to use the typewriter his wrists began to hurt and that's not good. So when I was typing last night on this table with my Groma Calibri, uh, I noticed it was pretty loud. And the reason why is because my office is in a state of disarray. I'm currently in the process of remodeling the office. So I have this temporary folding table, this plastic folding table in the corner of the room is my current setup. And it is kind of a bouncy, uh, loud, plastic table and it's not conducive to late night typing so I was typing late last night other people in the house are in their bedrooms trying to get to sleep so I took this little Calibri off of my table and set it on my lap to hopefully quiet down the sound and what I discovered was it really was a lot quieter however because of the height of the chair where it places my legs, the typing position on this typewriter is sloped forward. You might be able to tell. It's not level. I have to raise my feet up onto my toes to get a level typing surface here that's ergonomic. So it's a little bit low for typing, for lap typing. And yet, even though that typing position was a little non-ergonomic, it was quite a bit quieter than typing on this 
bouncy plastic table. And I thought that was kind of interesting. It was noticeably quieter. Just the fact that I'm typing on my legs and my lap. There's natural padding there. Some of us have more padding than other people. Um, so this raises the question of if you are in a portable or ultra portable typewriter user and you like to type in places other than the strict typing class table, chair, desk chair setup, then we're presented with the challenge of trying to find ways of making those unusual typing positions a little bit more ergonomic for ourselves. So when we talk about typing position and posture with typewriters, um, I wanted to mention that uh, a few years ago I made this little wooden platform and that was because I had noticed that with some manual typewriters that have a heavier touch, they're not as easy to use, I discovered that raising the typewriter up higher than the recommended posture where your forearms are level to the keyboard, sort of a hamster perch kind of a position, I noticed for me that actually really helped me. It made it more comfortable for my wrists and fingers, but also gave me a little bit more force to type with. I'm not necessarily recommending that to you guys, but it's something you might want to consider. And so here with my Calibri as an example, you set this up at this position right here, and now you have more of a hamster perch typing. And it is quite comfortable actually. I like it. It's certainly better for your wrist than bending them the other way. Uh, I think if you had to err on the side of caution, yeah, you want to keep your forearms as straight as possible, your wrists as straight as possible, but having a slight curve like that, especially for a manual typewriter where you need some finger force, uh, this little hamster perch does work quite well. Of course, that being said, a lot of this has to do with your stature. How big are you when you sit in a chair? Like, what is the height of my chair to my table, for instance? Right now, I have this chair set up to this table pretty good for an ergonomic position. But as I said earlier, when it comes to turning around and putting the typewriter on my lap and doing some lap typing late at night, because that's much quieter than table typing, especially with a low profile ultra portable like a Groma Calibri, one of the other small typewriters, um, I have that problem where the keyboard kind of slopes down. And this little hamster perch platform actually might come in handy for that. So now by raising my feet up on this little platform, it raises my lap up so that my lap is now horizontal, which allows me to set the typewriter on my lap safely and securely. And so now I have a much better lap typing position. Uh, it really does dampen the sound of typing late at night. However, you might notice the typewriter still does wobble and rock back and forth a little bit. And we do have a fix for that as well. So a lap desk. A simple lap desk will stabilize my small typewriter on my lap along with having that little footstool that raises my lap up to a more of a horizontal position so the lap desk or typewriter isn't sloping down and trying to slide off my lap. But I want to make sure you understand that your particular situation varies depending on the size of your typewriter, how tall it is, and your stature, the height of your chair relative to the floor and table, etc. So for me, with this particular very small typewriter, this setup, raising my legs up slightly so my lap is horizontal, and then having a lap desk to stabilize my typewriter works really well to enable lap typing in a chair that late at night seems to make the typing experience considerably quieter. I don't have this hard surface of a desk that resonates with the sound of the typewriter like a passive speaker diaphragm would, for instance. That's kind of what your desk is acting like, is actually a passive uh, passive speaker cone. Uh, it just re-radiates the vibrations from your typewriter. But your biology, the soft, squishy parts of the typist himself or herself, helps to dampen the sound of the typewriter late at night. So that might be something you should consider if you do like to do late night typing with a small diminutive typewriter. Get yourself a little footstool to raise your legs up, get yourself a lap desk, and you know, this 
lap disc is a commercial brand i've there's a number of them this is the little wooden one it has a little cutout for your belly and there's a little padded thing underneath for your for your lap but you could uh make a makeshift one out of a you know a piece of uh, plywood or some kind of board or surface like that well this is just a little bit about ergonomic positions with typewriters and how to deal with late night typing and how to quiet down your typing experience by getting the typewriter off of that flimsy, in my case, flimsy, vibrating, resonant desk onto your lap. I think it's fun. Lap typing is fun. And also, if you like to type outside, you don't always necessarily have a table out there. You might have a table in your patio, but you might want to set a chair up out on the lawn or some nice place under a tree and you may not have a table set up there just having the ability to sit in a chair with the right ergonomics for a small typewriter makes all the difference in the world in terms of the comfort and productivity well guys i'd love to hear your story about how you've been able to make your typewriters work in unconventional positions like what we were taught not to do in typing class all of this by the way is strictly unconventional if my old typing teacher from the early 1970s was to see me doing these kinds of non-standard uh, typing postures they would have a heart attack probably but you know one of the things that we love about the new era of typewriters is we've found usage modes for typewriters that are uh, much different than in the heyday of typewriters when the only primary usage mode was as a business uh, or a professional writer's kind of a uh, setup at a desk, the proper desk, the proper chair, everything rigid, regimented in a position. We like our typewriters in different places now, but we have to be safe about it. Be safe about the posture and the ergonomics. Don't bend your wrists, especially like that. Be safe about it. Find ways to use those machines in a variety of places and always stay creative and have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye for now.